And breaking within the past 15 minutes, Castleberry police have released this picture of 22-year-old Joel Ferrer. Investigators say he is the man behind the trigger of a deadly shooting overnight. Investigators said that shooting happened just after 11 last night. Yeah, Castleberry police responded to the Goldem at Regency Oaks Apartments. That's along Monarch Circle. When they arrived, they found a 41-year-old who had been shot. News 6's Lauren Cervantes has more. The deputy chief tells me they are searching for 22-year-old Joel Ferrer and that he should be considered armed and dangerous. He says they are working with investigators from a number of different law enforcement agencies to find him. I just heard gunshots. I'm hearing screaming and I'm looking around. A 911 call painting a picture of the moments immediately after Castleberry police say 22-year-old Joel Ferrer shot and killed 41-year-old David Jackson. Ferrer is facing a second-degree murder charge, according to police. Police say Ferrer is the nephew of Jackson's girlfriend and that he was living with the couple temporarily in their apartment off of Monarch Circle in Castleberry. Trish and David were in their bedroom and they heard the sound of a firearm being manipulated in the bathroom. That's when Deputy Chief Derek Becton says Jackson went to the bathroom to confront Ferrer and the two got into a heated argument. After the argument in the bathroom, they went outside, presumably not to wake up uh, some of the other kids that were uh, sleeping in the, the apartment. While they were outside, we don't know exactly what transpired yet, but Joel turned around and fired approximately eight shots and hit David. A resident who lives in the apartment complex who didn't want to show his face tells us he's concerned. I don't want my kids to grow up in a neighborhood where they got to fear or look over their shoulders because of gun violence or violence, period. Now, police are asking for anyone with information about the shooting or who may know where Ferrer is to call. For now in Seminole County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.